Before we get started, I just wanted to say thank you for the support. Uh, the channel is under constant attack from miserable people who report my videos in an attempt to try and control the type of content that you get to see on YouTube. The good news, you all jumped in and helped me fight back by subscribing, liking, and dropping some comments. My only weapon against these losers is you guys, so I appreciate that support. Uh, it takes just a few seconds to hit the subscribe button, drop a comment, or hit the like button. But every time you do so, it's a swift kick to the snowflakes. And motivation for me to continue dropping some bangers to entertain you all. If you want to go all out after watching this video, check out the best of Egg Unless You playlist and just let her rip. Every watch minute melts a snowflake. True story. So, thanks again, guys, and let's get back to it. I'm going to show you how I make the tracer pellets here in just a second, but first, let's jump right into some footage. For these first two, I have the Dirty 30 out uh, using the white paint. So it's a 50 grain JSB going, I think I had this uh, tuned way down at about 560 or so if I remember. I actually just let the, the Dirty 30 uh, move on, which was a Leshy Classic uh, with a 30 barrel in it. Um, I kept the 30 barrel, but I let it move on to a new uh, to a new home. Uh, somebody really wanted that, uh, that tan-colored Leshy Classic, and I don't blame them, and I'm fortunate enough to have quite a few of them, so I let it go. But anyways, uh, I let it go because I'm going to make room for a Leshy 2 chambered in 30 cal. I cannot wait to show you guys this thing. Some companies are uh, making some stuff for the Leshy 2, and this thing is going to be bonkers. I've been painting pellets for a couple years now. Uh, I've been experimented with different paints uh, and ways of applying it. It's always been pretty labor intensive, to be honest with you. Uh, I have this piece of like a 4x4, four four basically, that I've drilled out with different holes uh, to accommodate the different calibers. So uh, I use it just to rest them in there, and then I'll carefully drop a little paint. If I'm using uh, for white, I was using a little nail polish or a paintbrush with a different paint, whatever it is. Uh, so while this method worked, it certainly has its limitations. One being it's pretty labor intensive and two, it was hard to make them consistent. So uh, the guys over at 68 Whiskey and Steve from Airgun Evolution YouTube channels uh, started painting pellets a little while back and then quickly came up with a really cool 3D printed product that makes doing this so much easier. And uh, you get to use uh, spray paint versus a brush. They sent a few to me, and wow, these are so much quicker and consistent. So here's what you get. It's a three-piece system that is caliber-specific. So you simply drop the pellet skirt first. Uh, it holds, what is it, 11 by 11, so 121 of them. Uh, the second piece just fits right into those holes. Uh, it's like the male component of it, and it just holds the pellets right in place. You flip it over, and boom, they're all perfectly aligned and ready to be spray-painted. Uh, you then actually take this third piece which is a paint shield, and you align it just right over the top. This protects the main body from getting a big buildup of paint over time. Uh, and there's a few ways that you could secure it. I just aligned the holes, and then I dropped uh, a bunch of little 5 mil uh, bolts. I think it's 5. It's your 5 or 4, but whatever. You can figure it out. Uh, and that held it in place perfectly. The biggest advantage this system provides is the ability to use spray paint. Uh, it's not only a, a lot faster, uh, but for some reason it's a lot easier to find the fluorescent colors in spray format. Uh, my two favorites are the little one on the left called this uh, Glow Orange from Krylon and a High Gloss White. Uh, the process is pretty simple. Uh, you start with a thin layer of a primer. Uh, sometimes I'll do two, even three super thin layers. Uh, then once you let that completely dry, uh, you do one to two layers of the color of your choice. My only exception to this is when I'm doing white, like when I want it to be white total. Rust-Oleum has a great high gloss primer and white uh, combo, so I don't do the primer before. 
the final layer is a thin high gloss clear coat. So this is super important because it'll help grab the reflection off the sun. Um, and then also I found kind of seals everything nicely in there. So you're not going to get paint in your barrel or anything like that. So I know some guys will do more, uh, more paint, less layers, but I found this to be the most uh, consistent method for me. So the net result, 121 perfect tracer pellets. Uh, these guys don't have a website yet, uh, but I'll drop their email in the description. And this is how you can order them if you guys are interested in getting your own. All right. Let's get back to some pew pew. If you enjoyed that clip, you should click this video to watch the full story.